everyone, welcome back to Purple Monkey TCG. I'm Lee, and today's episode goes out to our Yu Gi Oh fans. We got a Yu Gi Oh mystery power box today, so don't forget like, subscribe, and get your notifications going. For our Pokemon fans, like I promised, we've got an XY Roaring Skies pack, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget those notifications. They also get you first dibs at getting this code card. So stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let me get it open here for us. They always use this really thick plastic on us. Let's just get some scissors going there. All right. So we get the plastic off of it. All right, so let's go ahead and get it unboxed and see what we got going. So we got us a small stack here. So it looks like we've got Code of the Duelist. We've got Judgment of the Light. We've got Extreme Force. Pharaoh's Servant, and Maximum Crisis. This one is first edition, along with everything else except Pharaoh's Servant are all first edition packs. So that's nice. See, we got first edition, first edition, first edition, and first edition. So I'm assuming Pharaoh's Servant is our legacy pack. Um, I'll have to be doing some research on Yu-Gi-Oh! So we got us a Beckett graded card here. So let's see what we got. I don't like the fact they put it in a textured sleeve. So you can't really tell the card's quality yourself. But, it's a great moth. And it's a 10. Which, through Beckett, a 10 is very, very difficult to get. Um, now this is through their collector's club thing which is for bulk grading so they might be a little more lenient I'm not really sure I've never had Beckett grade anything it's always been PSA but definitely nice to see a Beckett 10 so if we regrade this it may be worth more it may be worth less I will have to look into that but it is a great moth and if I remember right gold lettering is for the rares so I like that I am, however, seeing some kind of mark on this thing. Hopefully it's just on the plastic. Yeah, it's got to be. It goes from top to bottom. So the plastic got a little scuffed up. But still, very nice. So let's set that off to the side. So let's go ahead and open our first editions. Don't forget guys, like, subscribe, and get your notifications. So here they are. I'm not real sure on their ordering, so we're just going to go through pack order. There's another gold one. It's not a foil, but it's still a really nice card. There's a foil. The Phantom Knights of Cursed Javelin. Lots of stars on that guy. He's very strong. Alright. So I know all you Yu-Gi-Oh fans are going to give me advice and tell me all about these cards. So please do. Please fill me in on everything. It's been a very long time since I played Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm talking like first gen, first round, and that was about it. So please inform me and I will be educating myself as well. So there's this one. This was the Extreme Force pack. There is another beautiful gold letter card or silver letter card. I can't really tell the difference, guys. 
I'm thinking silver. I don't know if you guys can tell. And there is our foil. Not a very strong card. And I'm pretty sure being black, it's just a common foil. Um, again, comment section, guys. Fill me in. So the next pack we got is Judgment of the Light. There's our gold letters. Don't think we get a foil in this pack. That's a shame. All right, so Code of the Duelist. All right. There's a beautiful white one. So what's the difference in the background, guys? Um, again, I'm going to educate myself, but always nice that you guys educate me and any other viewers that might have seen it and not known the difference. So we've seen blue, we've seen purple and green and brown, um, multicolored backgrounds. So a little insight, guys. So there is, I can't tell if the lettering's rainbow or silver or what's going on there but it's a beautiful foil card definitely very strong it's got an attack of 3000 whatever's going on there all right now before we open this pharaoh's servant card set these off to the side so they don't get messed up so there's the Pharaoh Servant. Before we open that, let's go ahead and indulge our Pokemon fans out there. Don't forget guys, like, subscribe, and get your notifications, okay? I can't stress that enough. So here we go. We're looking for that reverse foil, and then we'll flip it to the back. Oh wow. We've got a full foil, uh, Articuno there, beautiful card. So I'm not going to bother, I'm just going to go ahead and flip to the next one, and it's a Dragonite. I only did that because that Articuno, I'm assuming is going to be a lot more difficult to beat than this uh, Dragonite was. Not really sure that I knew it was a Dragonite, I'm just saying that that, that was a foil rare, uh, full art, so... Anyways, moving on. So here it comes. Here's the code card. Don't forget, guys, like, subscribe, notifications, please. All right, there it is. Roaring Skies. Okay, so let's open this Pharaoh Servant Pack. So, let's see. 2014, 2014. I want to see. This one does not say 2014. I'm just trying to figure out which one of these might actually be our legacy cards. I don't know. I'll do some research, and uh, next time we open some Yu Gi Oh!, I'll be a little more informed. I promise. All right. So keep in mind, these ones are not first edition. This is just a standard pack. There's a silver. Gravity bind. All right. So that's today's episode, guys. Don't forget, like, subscribe, get your notifications. Alright, this is Lee, Purple Monkey TCG. I'm out.